Hi everyone, and welcome to the second episode of The Bit of Geek. My name is Miranda, and I have a lot to share with you today. First, we're going to start with a little bit of Skyrim, and then we'll be moving on to Skyward Sword, as well as a bit about the Zelda 3DS bundle that was released in November. From there, I'll be talking about the books I'm reading by the author Piers Anthony, and then I'll conclude with a little bit about the TV show community. So get ready to watch A Bit of Geek. <laughs> So straight into Skyrim, Andrew and I have been gripped just like the rest of the world and been playing our file almost every night. We uh, take turns playing the same wood elf who was quite proficient in archery, smithing, enchanting, and sneaking. Uh, it was very exciting to max out smithing from the very start so we could watch her go from elven armor to glass armor to dragon armor. We went straight up the light armor side, and uh, we don't anticipate using heavy armor with this character at all. But all the same, we made sure to put points into that heavy armor so we could finally get our Daedric bow. It was completely worth it. Plus, we'll be getting a uh, heavy armor using companion sometime soon, and we'll need to outfit him properly. So, we put together a little video of our girl in action, and we'll hope that you'll enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed that video of our girl running around because there's plenty more where that came from. And now moving straight on to Skyward Sword. I had to wait one long agonizing week for my copy to arrive, but it was completely worth it. I hope that now that Christmas has passed, everyone has had a chance to play it for themselves as well. I'm very in love with the pointillism style graphics. I love what Nintendo did in combining a Wind Waker-esque palette with the Twilight Princess style graphics. The controls are also very well done. If you're like me and you've never played a Wii Motion Plus game before, then it proves to be a little bit difficult. But thankfully, Nintendo incorporated a very easy way to instantly recalibrate the controls. At any given moment while I'm playing, you can see me hopping around, twisting my arm at wild angles, attempting to get the controller to register what I'm doing. It's a bit of a challenge. I'm enjoying it quite a bit more than Twilight Princess. I can't quite put my finger on why. I think mostly it's because there's enough new and different about it that it feels, it just feels new. I mean, that's redundant, but it just feels new and fun. But there's still enough familiar about what's going on that it doesn't, it's not quite new terrain. It's just fresh and familiar enough, and they did a really good job with it. The last aspect of, um, Skyward Sword that I'm really happy about is that Nintendo approached Penny Arcade about doing a special comic to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the series. I really enjoyed what they did with it. I'm a big fan of Penny Arcade, so I hope that you will also take a look at uh, what they created. So while we're in the vein of Zelda, I'd like to share a bit about the 3DS Zelda bundle that was released in November. It retails for $199.99, and it comes with a copy of Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. If I didn't already have a 3DS, you can bet I would have been asking for that for Christmas. Although, that's really not the only reason I don't have one. I just can't quite justify spending $200 on something that I already have. Of course, I don't object to owning another DS. I think I have a rather sizable collection thus far, and I'm really happy with it. I own five. And someday I aspire to own every color of every version that has been released. 
Some people collect cars, some people collect power tools. I would like to have a collection of Nintendo DS's. And speaking of collections, Andrew and I are starting to acquire quite the collection of Piers Anthony novels. Before I left for Ireland this spring, Andrew loaded me up with a bunch of um, Piers Anthony novels. I had never heard of him before, and it turns out I love his work. It is high fantasy and fun, full of puns and wordplay, and they don't take themselves very seriously. The man has been writing books in the Xanth series, which is what they're called, for over 30 years, and I don't even know how many titles there are in this series. So far, I have read Nightmare and Castle Rugna, and I'm currently working on Jumper Cable. They're a lot of fun to read, and one of the things I like most about them is that the storylines and characters interconnect. So as I read Jumper Cable, I come across characters that were introduced in Nightmare, and that just feels really nice, like I'm a part of the series. Uh, one really great aspect of them is that since they're a little bit older, they're super cheap to get your hands on. There's a bookstore near us that sells them for only $2 each, so no excuses to not get your hands on these fantastic books. A while back, I put up a post on my page about the TV show community, and I know you all saw it because you're such avid readers. The great news is, the show has been brought back from its mid-season hiatus and they will be finishing out season three. If you didn't know that, then pay more attention. The bad news is, season four has not yet been confirmed. Do you realize how serious that is? Hasn't been confirmed. So take note and make sure to watch it, TV, Hulu, what have you, because it's a fantastic show. And uh, to follow that up, please enjoy these clips that I rounded up for you. Is it the guy that looks like Anderson Cooper but with the soul patch and the ponytail? No. Is it black Michael Chiklis? No. And white George Foreman? You guys are talking about the same person. He's biracial, his name is David, and he's a human being. Guys, stop guessing. It's not a thing at all. It's just a friend. Change the subject. Chang the subject. No! What are you doing up there? Is it Jean-Claude Van Overbite? We should really start learning people's names. I agree with Brown, Jamie Lee Curtis. So that wraps us up for today. I hope you enjoyed this entry and that you'll go and take a look at Community. We'll see you next time, but be sure to stay tuned for the credits where I open a very special present. I don't know what's going on. Oh my god.